We're going to use the perfect square method of simplifying radicals to solve this. Uh, the best way to start this is to list out the perfect squares we're going to use, which would be 2 squared, which is 4, 3 squared, 9, 4 squared, 16, 5 squared, 25, 7 squared, 49. Some put in 121 at this point. Um, you may or may not need to. Um, 16 really isn't even necessary because uh, that gets covered by the 4. Uh, so it's really 2 squared, 3 squared, 5 squared, 7 squared, and 11 squared, all the prime numbers. So the first thing we do is we try to factor 225 into perfect squares. Well, 4 doesn't go in, or 4 doesn't go into 225, but 9 does. And 9 goes into it 25 times. And what happens is you recognize we've already got it separated into perfect squares. 9 is a perfect squared and 25 is a perfect squared. So we're done factoring. That worked out really nicely. Um, and so we separate those out. We, we can, now we can find the square root of 9, which is 3, and the square root of 25, which is 15. And it turns out that 225 itself was a perfect square, um, and that was 15 squared. Um, and so you can, you, you can see that occasionally you may not recognize a perfect square, but by doing the perfect square method, it's very simple to see the answer uh, when doing this. On number 2, we're also going to have to factor it, and you just, you just start by looking uh, what number goes into 128 of those on the left. Well, 4 does. So you write 4 times what's left, which is, I think, um, 32. And then you, you, you leave the 4 alone, and then you factor the 32. Well, if you notice, 4 is going to go into it again. And so you're going to have 4 times 8. 32 is 4 times 8. And again, you're only using the 4, 9, 25, and 49 to factor. And you start with the lowest, and you get bigger. Um, and then we can factor 8 again to 4 times 2. So now we've factored it into three perfect squares, the 4s, and then one thing left over. So we, we separate it out. You're always allowed to separate it out like this into th four separate square roots. Uh, uh, that's allowed in multiplication. And then the square root of 4 we know each time. It's just 2. And each time we, we multiply, we take the square root of 4 and make it 2. And then we're left with square root of 2 inside. And so 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So you're left with 8 square root of 2. And that is your answer. 8 square root of 2 is the same as square root of 128.